identify with one political party. I'm on the right about some things, I'm on the left about others. And um, I'm gonna do my best here to speak freely, but talk about this from a perspective. I myself, I myself in my hand. How bad is it? Okay. Um, I'm gonna have to As you can see, we had an interesting evening. Uh, after a little bit of time, we decided the best thing to do was to go to the emergency room. And given that Sweden has been in, in the news recently with emergency room wait, wait times, I thought it would be interesting to kind of go into my experience with it or our experience with it. Um, we got to the hospital or the emergency room about 6.50 yesterday. And in Sweden, when you go to the emergency room, it's like everything else. You have to pull out, you hit a button, you pull out a number, and you have to wait to talk to somebody. Uh, once you go in and do that, though, you have to, um, they will serve you as a need basis. So they will take people, like there were people that were there, they got sit seated before us. But that, has to, that is due to the fact that the injury or what they're going through health problem is supposed to be a little bit worse. I can say that my girlfriend is okay, everything's good. Um, but we waited about three hours. We spoke to a nurse first. But then one doctor came in, another doctor came in as well because they wanted to make sure that she had full range of motion in her hand to make sure that everything was okay there because the knife did go quite deep. Um, she was able to get a couple stitches. Luckily, there wasn't a lot of blood. Uh, in our experience in total, when we were there, it was about three and a half hours, about three hours to three and a half hours altogether to go to the emergency room. And as it was getting later in the night, it was definitely picking up there. But overall, I thought my experience was pretty good. I'm sure depending on where you are in cities, everything could vary. But I think three to three and a half hours is an okay wait time for someone that needs to have stitches in their hand. Um, and I can say through my experience there, I saw others go before us, but they looked like they needed more help than we did at the time. So it seems to work okay where I am. I was in the city of Link Shipping, so maybe it's different if you're in Stockholm or somewhere else, but uh, I was very happy with our experience. I was very happy with the doctors uh, that we had as well that were, were helping and treating us. And I'm it's life, so it's probably not the first time in my life if I stay in Sweden I'm going to be in an emergency room. So it's important to know how it works. One thing I will note, and maybe I just didn't see it, but all I saw at this one was all the information was only in Swedish. Uh, from what I could see looking around, maybe I was wrong, but I do think that an emergency room maybe should have words in English there too, uh, especially if it's like more of an international area or school. I could be wrong, but I believe I didn't see anything, any information in English at the emergency room, and I think that could be good, like I said, especially, uh, someone can correct me if I'm wrong though, I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but that, I didn't see that, so I think maybe just a little bit more information in English could be nice due to the fact that you're going to have a lot of people maybe that are traveling or anything else that might be needed to go and maybe it's hard to f figure out which room is the emergency room. We obviously didn't have any troubles due to my Swedish being okay and my girlfriend being Swedish, so everything was fine there. But overall, I thought everything was really uh, well. I'm, I'm happy that my girlfriend's okay and it, I think that the Swedish health, healthcare system works. But definitely, if there's areas that have really big wait times, that it's also good. We try to find a way to make things more efficient. But it does make sense that they need to see people given on how serious the situation is and not on a first-come, first-served basis. So I was very happy with my experience. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.